four more reasons why your wedding's gonna suck. Number one, giving your DJ too many song requests. Typically, your wedding reception is four hours long. The first two hours are dinner. Give as many requests as you want for background music, for dinner music, that's fine. But when it comes to dancing, you should give your DJ 10 to 15 songs because they're gonna take requests, they're gonna use their expertise to get that dance floor packed. If you give them 100 songs for the dancing, then they have no choice but to play them because you're the client and you're always right. Number two having an open mic at your wedding reception. Now, let me explain what I mean, but before I do that, stick around to the end of the video. Number four is gonna blow your mind. Now, what I mean is when you have multiple toasts for your wedding reception, or you do the worst thing, which is allowing anybody to make toast during your wedding reception. One of two things will happen. Your DJ will make an announcement. It's time for everyone to give a toast to the bride and groom. Who wants to go first? And you have crickets because nobody wants to be first. Nobody knows what to do. Nobody's prepared for it. So you do yourself a disservice and make it counterproductive for doing this open mic. The other reason is because you never know what people are going to say. Everybody has that crazy drunk uncle that gets out in public and shows their ass. Do you want an ass to be shown at your wedding reception? I'm thinking not. So forego having an open mic, keep your toast to the best man, maid of honor, maybe a best friend, and maybe one of your parents. Number three, making your decision based off what you've seen in the past. It doesn't matter what the photographer did at your sister's wedding because that was your sister's wedding, a separate contract. It matters what's in your contract. If you expect to see two photographers, put that shit in the contract. If you expect that the photographer doesn't take any breaks, put it in the contract. If you expect your wedding planner to start their day at eight in the morning and end at midnight, if it's not in the contract, it doesn't exist. The most important is number four, not paying your vendors on time. If you have a problem with the payment schedule, discuss it with the vendor before you sign the contract. Once you signed it, you're bound to the terms, just like the vendor is. If you decide, well, I'm not gonna pay you before the wedding, then the vendor's gonna decide, well, I guess I get to say my happy <laughs> home and retain your deposit because you are the breacher of the contract. If you don't trust your vendor, shame on you for hiring them. If you wanna have a shitty wedding, don't pay that vendor and mission accomplished.